Quantum physics discovered that all particles can exist either as a wave, like a radio frequency or a beam of light, or a particle, which is a single point. The crazy, counterintuitive, and almost unbelievable truth is, these things can exist at exactly the same time, meaning a wave can also be a particle at the exact moment in time. They essentially exist simultaneously in different dimensions. I know, it gets really weird really fast. But it's also a proven scientific fact. And here's the most important part of all. The only thing that forces a particle to stop being both things at once is direct observation, which translates to something doesn't exist until we look at it with our own eyes. Now let me ask you a simple question. What is sound? You might reply, it's vibrational frequencies moving through the air. And you'd be right. And how do humans make sound using no tools? To that you might reply, our voice, and you'd be correct. Yes, our bodies can make sound without our voice, but our voice is the only thing we control with perfection. We articulate the exact vibrations of an incredibly complex set of organs to create sound that is filled with the exact meaning we want to convey. More so than simple observation, using your voice is the way you manifest your thoughts in physical form immediately. Your thoughts are just fleeting things inside your mind. Success never comes to those who use thinking alone. But by translating your thoughts into a verbal command, science has proven that you can affect the physical world around you, even if it's in an incredibly small way. Your words literally change the world. Multiple studies around the world confirm that this is not only an isolated incident that is just funky quantum nonsense. Water is affected by sound. Water levitates. Sound affects matter, and water is affected by verbal cues. I need you to connect the dots with me here, because this is the most important part of the entire presentation. Jesus' words, when translated today, would effectively say this. If you believe in scientific facts, you can speak a command and the physical world will obey. This isn't theory. This isn't metaphor. This is Jesus' word proven in laboratories around the world by thousands of scientists. Our observation affects the physical world around us. The smallest particles in the universe respond to our direct influence. I didn't explain all this to bore you. I explained it because I need you to understand a fundamental truth. If Jesus was sharing timeless, universal knowledge with us, and he specifically told us we could do greater works than him, then we have the power of living creators on this earth capable of manifesting and attracting whatever we set our direct intention to. But Jesus didn't just hint at this power. He created a direct, step-by-step -step roadmap. He laid everything out, crystal clear for anyone who knew what he was really trying to say with his teachings. And this is why the Pharisees convicted him. This is why the Romans crucified him. This is why the church threw away half of the written Gospels 300 years after his death. Do you have any idea how incredibly dangerous a human being could be if they fully realize how powerful they were? How could they be controlled? How could they be governed? How could they be taxed? How could they be made to work in order to produce goods they don't need? How could they be made to fight wars against each other? I'll give you a hint. We couldn't. If more people knew the incredible, God-given, radical creator power that was flowing inside them, we couldn't be controlled, manipulated, governed, taxed, or exploited. If you've seen The Secret, or even if you've watched the 6 o'clock news, you know that 96% of the wealth of the world is controlled by 1% of the population. Not only that, but those people are typically seen as heroes. People who created their own reality. You've seen them all. Steve Jobs was said to have a reality distortion field around him. Margaret Hazley wrote, The people who say you are not facing reality actually mean that you are not facing their idea of reality. Reality is, above all else, a variable. With a firm enough commitment, you can sometimes create a reality which did not exist before. Albert Einstein said, Reality is merely an illusion, albeit a very persistent one. The greatest people in the world are already bending reality to their will. Let that sink in. At the beginning of this presentation, I asked you to keep an open mind. 
but to never believe anything without proof. Let me share some proof with you now. If Jesus was using the words of his time to describe the acts we could perform and telling us that we could become greater even than himself, then the test of that statement is to examine his own works and see if we're measuring up using the tools we have. Jesus is recorded as performing dozens of miracles, from healing the sick to raising the dead, and smaller feats such as controlling the weather, turning water to wine, and exercising demons. Let's run down the list using modern science. Jesus is said to have healed a number of blind people. Using modern medicine, blindness is a disease that can be medicated, stopped, and reversed using several different treatments. According to an article in Medical News Today, we can prevent or cure 80% of cases of blindness. We use everything from contact lenses to corrective laser surgery. We heal tens of millions of people of blindness every year. Jesus is said to have cured several people of leprosy, a ravaging disease that terrified all of the ancient world, from China to Europe. Today, in the last two decades, over 16 million people have been completely cured of leprosy all over the globe. Leprosy is treatable with simple antibiotics. The World Health Organization will cure anyone of leprosy for free. Jesus healed paralyzed people. In addition to the numerous cures for paralyzing diseases today, we have created machines that allow even 100% paralyzed individuals to live completely full lives, like Stephen Hawking. And, in 2014, The Independent in the UK published an article about using stem cells to regrow nerve tissues to allow spinally paralyzed patients to walk again. Several successful cases exist around the world, and it's the primary focus of dozens of international medical researchers. Healing deafness, menstrual bleeding, cripples, and muteness. All of these are cured today using medical devices, prescription medicine, physical therapy, and speech pathology. Hundreds of millions of people per year are cured of ailments like this.